All praise be to Allah and peace and blessings of Allah be upon our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. First, I would like to extend thanks all the founding members of Jamia Fatma, especially my teachers, my trainers, for giving me a chance to make a speech here. Dear audience, my topic is the last prophet, the paragon of mercy in the light of Quran. Allah has sent the last prophet for the mercy of all world. It is worthy to note that Allah has called himself Lord of all world. But for the holy prophet, Allah used mercy for all world. Dear audience, the mercy of the last prophet is absolute. The mercy of the last prophet is complete. The mercy of the last prophet is in its entirety. The mercy of the last prophet is everything. The mercy of the last prophet is for everything. The general mercy of the last prophet is for the Muslims as well as the non-Muslims. But the specific mercy of the last prophet is only for the true believers from among us the Muslim. Dear audience, in a chronic surah, Allah mentioned, and we did not send you, but as the mercy for all world. The teachings of Quranic ayah tells us that our prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was so merciful, gentle and kind that he did not become angry on the day of Uhud. Dear audience, in the pre-Islamic age, orphans were oppressed, orphans were deprived of their rights. Allah came, Islam came up to hold justice for these orphans. Islam commanded the Muslims to approach the orphans' property in a very good manner. Dear audience, in a in a hadith, the Prophet Muhammad said, the best among us, the Muslim, is the house in which the orphan has been treated properly. But the worst among us, the Muslim, is the house in which the orphan has been treated poorly. Dear audience, our Prophet, our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, was so merciful, gentle, and kind that Allah commanded to Prophet Muhammad, spread your wings of mercy for the believers following you. Dear audience, in a hadith, the Prophet Muhammad said, a Muslim is one from whose hand and tongue people are safe. Dear audience, Allah sent the Prophet Muhammad for mercy of all world. But what we have done so far for him? We have forgotten the beautiful teachings of our Prophet. We have stopped following the Sunnah of our Prophet. We have stopped reading the seer of our Prophet. Our Prophet Muhammad wasallam kept on weeping for forgiveness, but we have reached a stage where we have no idea how to please our prophet, how to gain our prophet, how to become a good human being by truly following the footsteps of our prophet. Dear audience, now it's time to adopt beautiful teachings of our prophet to become a good human being as well as a good Muslim. With that, I conclude my speech. Thanks a lot for listening to me with great patience. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.